What's ironic is that social justice, if we're thinking about it rightly, if we're using those terms in an objective way, the way I was just saying, um, would mean capitalism. I see. Capitalism is social justice. It's not as cut and dry as saying to Keller, stop qualifying justice. Because in everything we just talked about, we qualified justice quite a bit. We, we, we sort of broke it down into different types or different respects or different types of relations um, in which it applies and doesn't apply. Um, so it's, it's not as simple as saying don't qualify justice. Um, however, one of the ironic things is that um, if we want to use a qualification for the type of justice that is strictly about interpersonal relationships and uh, who has a claim for what, um, and, we're, and we're not bringing in moral justice yet, we're just talking about this interpersonal what, what would you call interpersonal relationships? What's a word for interpersonal relationships on the, on the large scale? Community or society? Bingo. So if we were going to describe the justice that pertains strictly to interpersonal relationships, what would be the, the common sense term that we would use? Social justice, if we're thinking about it rightly, if we're using those terms in an objective way, the way I was just saying, um, would mean capitalism. I see. Capitalism is social justice. <laughs> um, if, 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 if you bring in individual justice or justice before God, um, then we're, we're not talking about the same thing anymore. And, you know, one way to go about describing that is to say that capitalism is a prerequisite for social justice. And that any attempts at social justice that violate capitalism violate social justice. Well, so, w what I'm saying is, um, so, what, what they mean by social justice is charity. Yeah. So, let's, let's erase that from our minds. Mm-hmm. And let's say, if, if we're going to think objectively about our terminology, justice means giving people their due, um, and social in society means pertaining to our relationships with others, then social justice objectively would mean giving people in society their due. That excludes charity. Because charity, by definition, is giving people beyond what they're due. So, social justice, if we're going to use the terms objectively, is going to basically be synonymous with capitalism. Now, now that you've explained that, what do you think you're going to do with that observation? <laughs> well, that, and that, that's the tricky part. I, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to argue that case, because I don't know that I want to use the terminology of social justice to refer to capitalism. Um, I mean, that, that would be a really fun rhetorical move, but it would also potentially be extremely confusing. Um, and, and I don't want to be ambiguous and confusing. As much fun as it would be to, no, to be novel and, and polemical. So th th there's sort of a trade-off there. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm not sure about that. But what I definitely want to say is, if we're going to talk about charity in terms of justice, it's strictly justice in between us and God. There's no social component of the justice involved in charity. Other than that, it happens to have a social effect. Mm -hmm. But in its essence, there's, no, there's nothing social about the justice involved in charity. And so that, that, that's, and that's, that's what they're trying to do with the term social justice. Mm -hmm. They're trying to say, because this form of justice has the effect of, you know, uh, of being involved in, in society in this way, Therefore, we'll say that that's just, and so that they're sort of collapsing justice between you and God down to the horizontal social level. Yeah. And I want to say, no, what we can't do that because that's going to contradict the gospel. Um, so what we need to do is, if we're going to talk about justice and society, we need to keep it strictly in terms of the the capitalistic sort of justice. Mm 